Second and seven. Oz Oster. Good block to spring over the first down to the 45-yard line. You're going to see a lot of running plays called by Mike McDaniel, and it's so far working very well. This is a this is a pretty cool play in the first drive of the game last week, and I think it kind of speaks to um, a lot of the players and the contributors on, on the offense. So we, we're in we're in I formation, and we're motioning Durham across. Well, first of all, that that has to be a snap point that that Tua has to be in unison with. That snap point, you can't rush the whole cadence, so the O line has to get used to his cadence. It takes hours and hours of deliberate practice just to execute that. Okay, so you have a tight end going this way at the snap. Well, I think what a lot of people see the all, all the statistical yardage, but for you to be a good offense, every player has to contribute on every single play. And I love this play because, um, you know, the, the NFL's leading receiver last week is in charge of down blocking. And if you want to see if he takes pride in his job, it's pretty obvious. His feet are in the ground, and he does a great job blocking a DN. That's a standard DN. That's not an easy block, okay? If you're on this defensive structure, they've got a lot of people covering. So if, if a team has a lot of people covering, it's important as an offense to be able to maintain the line of scrimmage and be able to run the ball when, you know, it's, it's football 101, you're cover two, we gotta be able to run it. So I think it starts with all of the, you talk about the left tackle, the center, and the, and the right tackle. All the, what we'd call covered linemen. Okay? They are coming across the line of scrimmage and fitting fundamentally sound football. Okay? You have that in unison, you have um, Alec coming around the horn, then you have a runner and a blocker that are tied together. Okay? He, he's pressing the heels of this blocker, and that allows for Alec to make the block, but also so that the defender doesn't fall off before the um, block is finished. And then you do all that work, all these people are participating, not to mention we have our two guards running off the ball. Great angle by Rob Hunt to this second level player. And you have an unblocked player that's the runners. And how he takes an edge of the defender and goes and gets a first down so we're not second and two, which could present a third down problem. Um, we are first and 10 because he, he keeps his balance, lunges forward with that extra effort. And that to me against a very good run defense, it, take, it shows you how it takes literally all 11 to be able to get yards in this league against good defenders.